Hey guys, it's Rebecca Overset. In today's video, I just recorded one for yellow shades. I'm gonna be doing gold or gold kind of colored shades. I have a couple of singles and then every palette here has some form of like gold, whether it's like bright gold or like you have like bright gold and then you have like light gold, then you have more like an antique kind of gold. So these are going to be gold shades. Um, I don't think I have any matte shadows. I think all of these in here that I have pulled for gold are gonna be shimmer shades or satin shades or something along that line. And then I will do outside video under tree cover as well as in shade. I'm gonna be using my Fabletics makeup removing cloth to get swatches off my fingers in between. Here we have, this is NYX in Gilded. This is a Physician's Formula and a little thingy I stuck to it doesn't ever wanna stay stuck on. This is a Physician's Formula in Sundown. This was in a like eyeshadow like duo, but the little thing never stays. I've even tried gluing it on and it, it popped right back off. This is a Morphe shadow in Honey Baked, it's ES8. And this one is the Colored Rain in Superstar. I think out of all of my shades, the Colored Rain Superstar is probably my favorite gold shade, but maybe it'll be dethroned after this video. And my battery is flashing at me, but I come prepared with another one just in case the battery wants to die. So I'm gonna swatch these three. So we have NYX, Morphe, and Colored Rain. I gotta remember to go up due to arm hair. And then I'll grab a Physician's Formula One as well. And some of these palettes do have yellow shades in it, um, which is, you know, I just swatched them with that video and then um, moved them over so I could swatch gold shades. If you've ever seen gold, um, like retail gold that says antique gold, this is about the color you're gonna find it. It's more of a dark bronzy kind of look. That's why I wanted to include that shade as well. It has more like orange in it than like say this, which would be a bright gold. These two would be considered bright gold and then this would be a light gold. Gold comes in various hues based on carrot and what it's mixed with. Um, there are fillers in anything that's not 24 karat gold. So you're looking at things like nickel, silver, brass, copper being added in as um, you know, you get down to like 18 karat, 14 karat, 12 karat, 10, eight karat gold. You're gonna find that it's mixed with other metal alloys to um, make either the metal stronger because gold is very, very soft or um, the, the fact that you know, when you add another alloy in, it doesn't just give it tinsel strength, but it also changes the color and the consistency of it. Also, depending on how hot it is when you melt it and how fast it cools down, it can also change the color of gold just from like a jewelry standpoint. In here, I have Dandy and Queen Bee. I have Sunburst on the other arm and it's really more yellow than anything else. So I'm only gonna be working with these two. So we have Dandy and then Queen Bee. And again, Queen Bee is more like an antique gold, whereas Dandy is more of a, a bright gold. That's very similar to the colored rain one. Then in the Love Science palette, we have this um, Cancer shade. I swatched it on the yellow arm, but it, I found it, it pulled more gold. This again would be considered an antique gold shade. So that's the only one shade I have in there. And then this Pisces shade is kind of more like a bronze or a brass shade. So I might record a video on like metallic shades, uh, excluding gold. This is the Marrakesh palette from Nomad Cosmetics. We have Golden Mosque. This one here again is, is a bronze shade. So I'm going to ignore that one. So here's Golden Mosque, that's beautiful. This is like a combination of bright gold and antique gold. And instead of it being metallic, it, it has uh, a metallic kind of sheen, but it's more of a satin kind of gold. Then we have Bold Effects from Helani. There is the shade here, which I'll have to look at the back and tell you what it is. That is Gold Getter. And it actually looks more copper. <laughs> so that looks more copper than gold, but you know, it's called gold, so we'll allow them that delusion. And then we have the BH Cosmetics Virgo palette. There's this shade right here, which is like a dirty kind of gold shade. 
it really does look like unpolished, dirty, antiqued gold. And you can also do antiqued gold with a chemical process as well. I didn't think about that. Like we use liver of sulfur to like darken things, but you can use other chemicals when working with jewelry in order to change the shade of actual like metals and stuff. So depending on what kind of coating it's got on, um, can also change the outside appearance of the gold. It's a little dark, but then we have the Taurus palette, which has this gold and this gold. Both of these are really pretty. Yeah, you can see the difference between what my battery day. So you can see the difference between what would be considered more of a bright gold versus a light gold here. And again, I don't know what is going to show up on camera in here. Probably the outside swatches of this or the video of this outside is going to show up a little bit better than um, in here with the ring light and whatnot. Then we have the BH Illusion palette. There's this shade here, and then I'll start a new row. This is more like an orangey gold. It keeps wanting to focus on like the palette or the mirror. It doesn't want to focus on my damn arm. Well, camera's being a turd today. Now we have the IVY Beauty Enlighten. There's this almond milk shade and hashtag blessed. Spiritual animal and I ran out of fingers. These feel like cream shadows. They're so soft. And then there's one more in here called Balance that also looks gold. And there are the four from TTP. I be my beauty. <laughs> my little illusion palette's trying to scare the death out of me. Then we have the Nomad Cosmetics Berlin palette. There's a couple of golds in here. So we have Dush Punk. There's Chaos Stage and then Helden. This is a very grungy palette, so I would expect to see like gold shades in here. And then there's um, one, maybe two more in here. This SO36 looks like it might be a, an olive gold. And then Poor But Sexy is like an orange gold. I might run out of room on this arm. Holy crap. So this is the Nomad Cosmetics Berlin palette. Like I said, it's a very, very grungy palette. I think it's beautiful. Then we have the Magic Mini by Juvia's Place. We have Nubia, which is really kind of a yellow gold. This is a very beautiful yellow gold. This also gives the colored rain shadow a run for its money when it comes to shade and pigmentation. They're both beautiful. These I'm gonna wait on because they, there's a lot of gold in them. So with this one, we have this shade here. And with this one, we have basically the same shade right here. Oh crap, I forgot to swatch these for yellows. Whoops, I'll have to record that after and insert the clip. Good thing I have more room on that arm. And then I better put these over here because I need to, there's like five yellows in there I totally forgot about. Now, the Butter Lemon palette I pulled because it's got one shade in here that looks kind of gold. Um, it's this Diva shade. Okay, it's more copper. It was worth a swatch though. Again, we're gonna skip you guys for now. The BH Color Festival has EDM, and the center stage is like a black gold. And 
then the Fairy Lights palette has Rare and Darling. Then we have the Zodiac palette, which has uh, Aquarius in it. Capricorn is more like a pewter shade. I'm going to put this up here. It's like an orangey gold. I don't even know if it's going to pick up how beautiful that shade is. And then the Jaclyn Hill palette has like one or two. Mm, it's kind of gold. What are you? That one is clean. I'll put this here. Now that one's kind of more copper as well. Well, it was worth a shot. I will do these on my hands because there are quite a bit of gold shades between the two. So starting off with the Galaxy Chic. Oh, maybe not. We have Mercury. Mm -hmm. I thought that was more gold. I mean, there's gold running through it, but it looks more copper. So maybe I was high on purple swatches when I figured that one out. And then we have the Aurora Lights. There's Sparkling, Phenomenon, and 24 Karat. So Sparkling, Phenomenon, and 24 Karat. And 24 Karat is more like an antique gold. And then that is all the gold shades that I have. Uh, holy, I ran out of room. I do have to go back and swatch the other two for the other video. I totally forgot that the Take Me Back to Brazil had at least two yellows as well as the Rio edition. So that was my blender. Um, I will be doing outside swatches here in just a, or outside video of the swatches in just a minute here. So you guys can see, um, I'm gonna stick this in here. So you guys can see what these look like in natural lighting. I like to do video outside so you guys can see what these shades look like because to be honest right now in the camera these are not showing up very well from what i can see It's like the the camera just doesn't want to pick up just how brilliant these shades are. So yeah, it's like even if I like if I zoom in, I've got it zoomed in all the way, and I like try and get the camera to pick it up, even with the ring light, you can see the ring light in the mirror. Like <laughs> trying to find where it's at. Here, I mean you can see kind of the shades but these are so brilliant it's not even funny so hopefully outside will be better than the inside lighting because the inside lighting just doesn't it doesn't work to pick it up so i will see you guys outside in just a second here is the outside tree cover video of all the gold shades Some of these shades still like this one here still not wanting to show up very good out here but the gold these gold shades do look a lot better out here than they did in the bathroom like a lot of these weren't even showing up at all on camera and i think the camera was like scared inside i will be doing direct sunlight uh, video of this in just a second but i figured i would show you and there are two shades here it doesn't look like it but there are two shades there they're just like my skin color, but gold. You can kind of see this one. I have a helper behind me. See? Over. Here we have the direct sunlight swatches. It's so bright out here, I can't even see. Like, I have no idea what you guys can see and what you cannot see. I can see where my arm is in the viewfinder and that's about it.
anyways, at least I tried. I, I don't, don't know what you guys could see or not. And then just for SNGs, here are all of the yellow shades and gold. And then one's on my hand. My hair is in the shadow. <laughs> My shirt's in the way. I can't wear these in a day. Today's Hopefully, you all like these like swatch videos that I do. Um, if you have a color recommendation that you want me to swatch. I will be more than happy to record it. If you want to see comparisons between certain palettes or certain brands, let me know if I own the palettes. I'll be more than happy to like show uh, one versus the other. I don't mind doing comparison swatch videos. I actually learn quite a bit from doing them. So hopefully this is helpful. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Have a fantastic day or night wherever you are.